round one here against Larry Holmes, a master boxer with a great boxing brain. Tyson, a real student of the sport. And as you can see, Tyson starting very quickly here. Holmes hanging on, referee Joe Cortez breaks them up. Well, Tyson there rips in with the left hook. And there's an old saying that the boxer will always beat the fighter. And of course, uh, that's not always true. Tyson a much, much better boxer than he's ever given credit for. Let's go. Well, Larry Holmes hasn't done a great deal of work in this opening session. Took a good left hook there. But talented as well. Very good state of alertness here from Tyson. He's got that look in his eye, he's incredibly determined. Oh, goodness, we want a right hand there from Tyson. And Larry Holmes on his back here in round four. But he's beaten the count. That was a very, very heavy right hand. Well, Holmes says he's okay. I just put your mind back to the night when Ernie Shavers cracked him as well. How did Holmes beat that one? He's down again, second time. Not too convinced about that particular knockdown, but it may well have been a right hand on the temple. Seven, how do you feel? Eight, you all right? So Joe Cort Cortez counts to eight again. And Mike Tyson now, very menacing. Larry Holmes surviving on pure courage. Pure instinct. And again, that Tyson right hand. Oh, and he's got him again. Holmes on very shaky legs here in the fourth. Tyson desperate for that knockout blow to land. Well, he's not rushing in Tyson, is he? Just picking the right punch. And this now looks awfully painful. What a punch that was. Oh, and he's gone again, and the legs absolutely collapsed underneath him. So, Larry Holmes then absolutely flattened here in the fourth round. A bevy of punches there from Mike Tyson. He never let up, did he? Mike Tyson, still the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, but Larry Holmes there completely flattened, and when the legs buckle underneath you like that, you know it's a bad one. These are the combinations that finished it. What a right that was. But this should be the final uh, knockdown of the entire fight, and of course the fight itself. As Tyson found himself hitting an unguarded target, and that was on the chin.